what's up boys so hopefully you enjoyed that little training montage from the day fellas uh pretty good workout gotta pop in got my accessory work dialed in missed my max but that's all right because uh that's the second workout on the row maxing on that lift so we're just gonna put that away for a couple weeks focus on the accessory work and come back 10 pounds stronger than what i failed today and i'm telling you it's gonna work you guys stick around for the journey just stick around it's gonna happen I'll, I'll prove it. I'll prove it to you. But anyways, fellas, I want to talk about switching to upper lower. What I did four to five weeks ago, one of the best decisions of my life. I wish I would have done it a lot sooner. Progress has been absolutely insane. I'm going to prove it to you right here with video proof of my progress um, placed in the video. Just listen up. So, guys, upper lower. The reason I switched from training like five to six days a week, high frequency, High volume, high frequency, high intensity. Pretty kind of a dumb combo, as you can tell if you guys know anything about lifting. But the reason I switched was obviously was making progress again, plateaued, regressed a little bit. And I was like, all right, that's enough. I heard so much about upper lower being the most optimal way to train. It's like, all right, it's time to give it a shot. So what I did was go upper lower four days a week. So upper lower, day off, upper lower, day off, upper lower, day off. Repeat for the past four and a half to five weeks tomorrow. We'll mark five weeks. So progress has been absolutely stupid on the upper lower split. And I wish I would have done it earlier. So the reasoning behind this is basically it's two days a week where you're killing your upper body and you're absolutely destroying your lower body twice a week. Split up by 72 hours in between each workout. So you train your upper, you train your lower the next day, then a day off, then you're back to upper. So 72 hours apart between every single body part session. And what this allows for is maximum recovery, maximum super compensation. So you not only recover, but you're able to grow, super compensate from what you did last workout. Maximum uh, neural recovery, CNS recovery, maximum muscle recovery. So every time you come to the gym, you're fresh and you're ready to go. And what this allows me to do, allowed me to do, allows everyone else to do, is hit PRs. Now I'm running conjugate, so I'm always va variating my one rep max lift because it takes more time to make that strength adaptation than it does to make smaller volume adaptations. So when I'm making those smaller volume adaptations like in between my maxes, so I split my maxes up every three weeks, I hit the same uh, I hit the same max, I come back to my same max and I try to PR by five to 10 pounds. So when I started this off, 225 for one on my incline bench with my absolute max, here's the video. Three weeks, or four weeks later, came back to hit that max again, 250, added 25 pounds on my incline bench. Could have got 255 maybe, who knows, but settled with 250, went up pretty easy. 25 more pounds than when I started in a matter of four weeks. It's incredible progress. Bench press when I started this up. 275 was a struggling rep. It was a grinder. Um, I hit 280 in the past, but regressed a little bit from my stupid training before. 275 was my starting. Got up to 290 on the same lift. Almost got 295 today. Literally, if I, maybe if I would have trained at night, because I trained first thing in the day when I it was still a little groggy, I guess. If I would have trained maybe tonight, I might have got it. Who knows? It was literally a matter of a mindset, but I missed it. I missed it twice. And both times I've second time actually I came just a little bit closer. It was so close to getting it. Either way, that's 15 pounds in a matter of four weeks. If not 20, if I would have rested today and done it tomorrow. That's still insane progress for the bench press. Deadlift, when I started this off. 6.45, couldn't even get it off the floor. Here's the video. Come back to it now. First workout, nail 6.45 like nothing. Last week, 6.60, lifetime PR, up 15 pounds. Up more than 15 pounds in a matter of four weeks. Just the recovery and being able to train my weak points. So my volume work... I go super heavy, super hard on the volume, and a lot of the volume's targeted towards my weak point. So like recently I've been doing pin press on my bench because I, I got this sticking point like three inches off the chest. So my pin press starts at like 2.5 inches off the chest. So I start and I'm forcing me to blow through my sticking point. So I start with a three by eight on that, and each week I try to add a rep to my set. So I go three by eight, three by nine, the three by 10, then I change up the lift. So I'll go back to floor press. And then we'll do the same thing, 3 by 8 3 by 9 3 by 10 And when I come back around to hit my maxes again, I'm 5 to 10 pounds stronger with my incline bench. Started this out at like 185 for sets of 7. Built 185 for sets of 7 up to sets of 3 sets of 10. 
Uh, maxed out, hit 245, went over to, or 250, 250. Now we're doing three by fives with incline. Started with 205 two weeks ago, got 210 this last week, and this coming week we're going to go for uh, three by five at 215, and we're going to switch up the routine again and uh, max out the lift again. And hopefully we're at like 260 on the incline. So it's just like a constant cycle of progress. Um, and it, it really works well because every workout you come in, you're fresh, you're ready to hit PRs, and you fully recover from that past workout. So you're able to just build, recover, break down, rebuild, recover, and just keep on progressive overloading. Um, I'm up like two pounds and uh, I'm still lean as hell. And that's the first time the scale weight's really been moving for me in a long time. I'm not just like super plateaued all the time. So that is good. And that slow progress, so up like two pounds in a matter of four and a half weeks, that's primarily, you know, like one of, one pound of that I hope is like muscle tissue or a half pound or something like that. So we're finally gaining weight. And switching up lower has been absolutely insane, fellas. Just stay tuned, stick around. I'm going to prove it to you. Big PRs are coming. If this happens month after month, five to 10 pounds on my lifts every single month. That's a lot of progress, boys. It's a ton of progress in a matter of a year. So stay tuned. We're about to blow up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Vlogs coming. More videos coming. This is the channel if you want to get absolutely jacked and strong, boys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.